Goody preseason is in full swing. Has it been nice to be able to shift the focus to 2022? Yeah, look, it's been great. You know, obviously, once we got back from Perth, um, there's a lot of still celebration, a lot of people, a lot of supporters. The Cup Tour was on um, and obviously we had the great day at the MCG, but it's just great now to, to really hone in on our, our next uh, adventure and, you know, 222 and what that looks like. And, you know, the boys have come back in great shape and, and looking forward to the pre-season ahead. How long do you allow yourself to sort of uh, appreciate what you achieved before you started planning for this pre-season? Oh, so pretty much as a coach, you go into planning mode pretty quickly, you know, a week after the grand final and, um, you know, but in saying that, you, you come back to Melbourne and there's a real hype and a buzz about our supporters and you, you certainly enjoy that. Um, but, you know, from a coaching perspective, we go into planning, we're straight away looking at 222 and what's possible and, and how we can make our team better. There was a little break for the boys. Do you feel like they got a chance to freshen up a bit? Yeah, look, they did. You know, it was a different break from Obviously, they came back, they did, couldn't travel too far, but you know, they've been incredibly focused on their training and getting some mental relaxation away from the game and, and coming back in really good shape. And from you know, the indications that we've seen in the first week and a half, um, you know, they've been outstanding the way they've presented themselves. They have been quite tough sessions. Have you been impressed with the overall fitness? Yeah, look, you know, as I said, you know, I think they came back in really good shape and we've jumped straight back into you know, the way that we want to play our game style and, and we've built our conditioning around that. And um, you know, the players have embraced that. They've come back mentally sharp and you know, they certainly want to prepare themselves as best they can. There are a few new faces out there. Has everyone settled in nicely? Yeah, it's great to see some new faces. You know, Luke Dunstan and, you know, we've had a couple of draftees that have joined as well, you know, Blake Howes and, and Andy. And, um, you know, they've been terrific. You know, they've embraced what, what we're about as a footy club and how we're going to go about playing our footy. And, um, you know, they've been welcome to the group and it's going to be great once Christmas finishes to get the boys from Perth over. You know, we've got a pretty big contingent there of four players that are, are training with South Fremantle at the moment. So we'll get them back into the fold and, and really embrace them on Gen 10. Was that important to allow them to stay over there, get Christmas and then reset back here? Yeah, it is important. It's important for us as a club to make sure that their family comes first and obviously not being able to get back to Perth for a couple of years with the COVID situation. You know, for those guys to stay at home with their families and spend Christmas is really important to us. And um, you know, they're doing the work. You know, they've got a lot of trust in, in us as a, as a footy club and um, they'll come back and present themselves in great shape. Warm session out there today. Everyone getting through well? Yeah, look, they are. You know, it is taxing. You know, the first bit of heat for the summer um, hits you, and it's a bit of a shock to the system. But they handled it really well. You know, I thought some of our core drills were the best we've done them uh, for a little while, and um, you know, it's just great to see them back enjoying what they're doing.